All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A reminder to please silence your cell phones and radios, and then uh, whenever you do get the mic to ask a question, make sure to give your name and affiliation uh, before doing that. We'll start with a statement from Florida State Head Coach Lonnie Alameda, then go to questions to the players, then dismiss the players, then go back to oh, yeah, questions for Coach Alameda. So go ahead with your statement. Um, wow, just what a great ball game. Washington's a great ball club. Um, Knew it was going to be gritty. That was so much fun to be a part of. And, of course, on the winning side of it is super fun. But couldn't be more proud of our team and the fight. Um, Cat's been a rock star for us. And, you know, to see the momentum building and the defense make some incredible plays is just so inspiring and motivating. So really proud of them. Questions for players? I'll go front row on the right here. Brett Nevitt, Knowles 247. Uh, for any of the players, Josie's a walking highlight reel, it seems like. just Does it ever surprise you anymore when she makes plays like that, or is it just kind of the norm now? We can start with Kaylee on the end and come this way if you like. <laughs> I would say definitely um, normal now. Josie makes those in practice and, as we can see, on the field too, and it's great to see her on the biggest stage making those same plays. Um, I would say personally in that situation, I've seen it so many times, not like I would have been disappointed if she didn't make it, but I knew she was going to make it, so I was like, throw it to me, throw it to me. Like, we got to get the double play here. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool that that's, like, a routine for her, and then we kind of are on to the next play. Like, how to get the momentum there was huge. Yeah, I mean, Josie's just so athletic. That's just pure athleticism, like, for her to get up that high and then to have the wherewithal to throw it to second base and get the double play. I mean, she's just an incredible athlete, great teammate, definitely has a great softball IQ, and just I have just so much trust in her playing. More questions for players? Front row right again. Devin, after their inning in the six and you leading it off, just how big was it to get on base there and just try to make something happen to get an insurance run? Yeah, I mean, we talk about momentum a lot, and I think we really felt like the momentum was kind of swaying to their side. So just going up there and having a team at bat, we weren't adjusting great, like me included. And so just really trying to get a good pitch and get on top of something because I know my speed plays and – you know, being out there for my team, just really wanted to get an extra insurance run. Cat was pitching a great game, but, you know, we know that they're going to come up and battle. That's who they are. So it was pretty cool. Cat, it just seems like when they get when teams get runners on base, it seems like you take your game to another level. Just what is it about those big moments that allows you to do that? Um, I think, for one, just being a ground ball pitcher and knowing that I'm always one pitch away from a double play – um, and then also just relying on my team, relying on my defense, and then just relying on the experience that I've had for five years, all of the mental game that we work on, the long days at practice, just everything that we put in is why we, it's why we do what we do so we can succeed here. So just having trust in that and then just focusing on executing one pitch. More questions for players in the room? Okay, we've got two from Zoom. Uh, Go to Jack Williams on Zoom. Jack. <laughs> I think he's muted still. Uh, Jack, if you can't unmute. All right, do we want to try Hassan Kasim instead on Zoom? Shows he's talking, I think. Okay. Hello. Any, there we go. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Coming into the game, did you um was this the game plan for a pitching or um, like McKenna would start and um you know and what was your mindset coming into you know obviously you've done relief all year but what was your mindset coming into that um, place? Yeah, that was a plan for. McKenna to soft open and then for me to come in um and I'm just I'm so proud of McKenna to come out here and just thrive and do her thing on the biggest stage as a freshman that's just so huge for her and I know that she really wanted that so really proud of her being able to get it done and then um you know just same mindset that I would have I think that it's a little more uncomfortable coming in middle of the game you're not really you don't really have the chance to feel out the strike zone um you know all of that stuff so and then just runners on base it's just added pressure but it's what we've been working on all year, so just getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. So just trying to go in and, you know, do the best I can for my team. Any more questions for players? Okay, 
Jack Williams is on uh, Zoom, so we'll go to try him. Jack Williams from the Tallahassee Democrats. Sorry, I'm on Zoom on my phone, so I'm still figuring this out. Um, <laughs> Devin, question for you. Um, you know, I heard from Coach that, uh, you know, you didn't want to step foot on the field when you guys made the trip out to Oklahoma. You know, tonight you had that big, uh, you know, that, you know, you just had a big night in general. Do you feel like, you know, the karma, the superstitions played off a little bit here tonight for you? Yeah, I mean, it was more of a team thing why I didn't want to step foot on the field. I just wanted us to earn it. Um, I think coming off last year, you know, we talked about it a lot and just getting back here, just very process oriented we've been. And that was kind of my process is staying at every game, every pitch that I can. And, you know, this team's going to make it back here because we kind of work so hard for it. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it paid off, but it's paying off more for the team, I'd say, which is pretty cool. Okay, that should do, do it for questions for players. Uh, thank you, Kaylee, Devin, and Catherine. You guys thank can you. take thank off. You. All right, questions for Coach Alameda now? Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Vinny the Daily. Um, you seem to have defensive players make incredible plays against Washington whenever you play them. Mm -hmm. If you recall a defensive play in 2018, um, if you recall it now, is there just some sort of inspirational speech you give to your players anytime you play Washington? <laughs> no, they're a very athletic ball club too, though. So um, no, we um, I, and there's something about. Um, like, uh, we're so far away from the pack, but we have such good rivalry games against Washington and UCLA, and um, it's been fun to match up some of the greats. And, uh, you know, I think that um, our left side has definitely, you know, they have a lot of short gamers and a lot of kids that, you know, kind of slap. So it gives us the opportunity to maybe cheat a little bit in some of those. And, and you know, that's a little bit what Jesse did in the situation in the World Series but or in the National Championship Series. But, yeah, no, it, it's not an inspirational speech at all. <laughs> Josie's Josie's for sure. Right, Front row right here. Coach, this postseason it seems like every time you guys score, you respond with a shutdown inning, and every time the opponent scores, you guys respond by scoring yourself. Just what is it about this team that allows them to kind of control those swings in the game? Um, I mean, I think it's your entire season. Um, you know, we really pride ourselves in one, two, three innings, and um, definitely when we score, we want to attack the strike zone and really attack that first hitter. And it's a mindset for our pitching staff to make sure and, and defense too, just to, to not allow the momentum to continue to, to roll to the other side and keep it on our side. And so, um, when the girls speak the language and there, there's a heightened awareness to that, um, it plays over time and they, they can see the, and trust the, the process of it. And I mean, you heard Dev talk about the process, like, uh, this game is very simple. It's not, it's really hard, but it is very simple when you can start to build through the layers and understand if you play a good fundamental softball game, you can be successful over time. More questions in the room? Go back front row right again. You know, Kat talked about it a little bit, but just McKenna's start, just what did you see from her and how did you like the way she handled the moment? Um, yeah, um, you know, I knew that uh, this was going to be tough. Klingler's tough. I mean, I think she struck out, or struck out five times all year, so I knew that there was going to be a lot to pitch to contact tonight. Um, and, I, you know, I needed, I needed to buy some outs, you know, and so um, I thought she was a good matchup. She's a freshman. We need her. We need her next year. I think it's really important in these moments to get there. And, um, you know, she, like she said, she wants the ball. So, um, you know, I saw her attack the zone, which is good, a little hyped up in the beginning. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's going to be huge for us. And, um, you know, I, I think that if we can make this deep run that we're trying to get right now, you know, in a couple of days, we're going to need her. And so we've got to get her in these moments. So really liked what I saw. All right, we've got another Zoom question from Hassan Kassim. Yeah, Coach, um, you know, um, FSU has never started 2-0 and in the tournament. How big is that to get that 2-0 and start and have a second day off in between, the, you know, the semifinal on, on Monday? Yeah, I mean, uncharted territory, eh? So um, I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> um, the days are long not playing. Um, we have to build in some time. Um, we're lucky to have family here with the Sherrills, so we're going to spend a little team time over there tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I mean, when you have a pitcher like Kat who can give you a lot of innings, and I think she was around the 70 pitch mark today, so – um, it's really important to keep your legs underneath there. We're going to face really, really good teams. They're going to be dogfights from now on out. And so we've got to make sure that we take care of our bodies the best we can. So earning days off is, is really big for us. Um, and, um, you know, we'll see how it plays out. But, um, you know, just going to enjoy today. 
All right, we have another Zoom question from Jack Williams. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, talking about Devin's performance tonight, you know, she had those leadoff hits in the second and sixth for you guys here. You know, what kind of the energy did she give you guys tonight? You know, how did you really you know, just snowball the momentum for you guys tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think for uh, our team, um, Devin works – really hard um you know you've got some players that are very athletically talented and some players that are smartly talented Devin's a smart player um so she takes pride in understanding the game and so when you can see her start to make adjustments um it'll fire up the team because they know that you know it's not based off of straight athleticism I mean she is trying to get on top of curveballs or rise balls she's trying to make things happen um, and I think on the other side, um, Devin's been really challenged to be a, a good leader for us. And leadership is really, really hard to do. And so, um, you know, I can't tell you how many times we've been in the office talking about how we handle ourselves on the field after failure because she's a hugely competitive player. And so um, to see her thrive in these moments and not get down on frustration of outcome but stay in it, um, I think the team recognizes that, and that's true leadership. And um, she's done a really good job of keeping us going. Any more questions for Coach? Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Appreciate yep. it. That's good.